What up, YouTube? G4 Elite here once again, back with another late night video for you guys. And tonight's topic is going to be Microsoft's new technology they got that potentially will be with the new Xbox. It's called a Lumi Room. And basically, the function of this technology is when you plank on your TV in the living room, there's a projector that projects the image of the TV, but it also extends onto your wall, you know, and it's not limited to just the game. It's not limited to just extending the game. You can put whatever visual effects you want from like little snow designs to little laser designs, you know, whatever to enhance your gaming experience. That's supposed to be what it does. Like, say for example, if you're playing a racing game and you're in, in on a snowy level, they will project the snow on the walls around your TV. Or say if you're playing a shooting game, they will extend the whole, t um, what you will see on your TV, they will extend it past the TV onto your walls. And they'll do that with basically any games, you know. It has a lot of functions that, that it can does. Um, it can also show little artwork around your wall, projecting artwork around your wall. It can project so many things and that and that that may be potentially with the new Xbox, you know, um that they will unveil May twenty first. We don't know if they will unveil that together yet, but I'm sure it'll go with the Xbox at some point. Like they would like they did the um Xbox Connect, you know. I'm gonna talk about what I like about this shit. What I like about this shit is when I did see them racing um in the snow games, you know, um they was racing, had a car game, and they was racing with snow around. I like to see the environment on a wall. That's pretty cool, you know. Um, I wish you, like, say if we was playing something like Super Smash Bros. Um, not Super Smash Bros, but um, Crash Racing or something. It would be nice to have that special effects on, on the wall and shit. That would be nice, too, for certain games. Like, when you're driving, and you drive underneath the sun, they would... They're like the um, they show the shadow and the sun against the wall. That's a pretty nice feature to have. Um, I feel like it can be fun. It is very innovative. It's new. It's taking gaming to a whole nother level, you know. And I think it's pretty cool. But uh, I feel like I do have concerns though. They said this is perfect for your living room. You know, you need a certain amount of space to use this shit. You know. What if you live in an apartment and your and, and your room's not that big? Can you not use this thing? What if you got your Xbox station in your bedroom? Can you not use this technology now if your room is small? You know, so that's one of the things that that, that I got that I'm questioning. Like, can you still use it? You know, because if I can't, that would be like a a real waste of money. Also, I feel like. It would get annoying after a point, you know. I feel like if you're playing online and shit, that will hinder you. Your game, they will, that will hinder you more than help you when you playing competitively, competitively against other people. That will hinder your chances of winning. You know, that would be very distracting for you in general. But I feel like in single player type shit, you know, where you could pause it, you can adjust shit. It'll be pretty okay to use, you know. But I feel like for online shit, I wouldn't want to use that shit. I'd be distracted as fuck. And, and, it, and it obviously got a lot of bugs to work out because I wouldn't enjoy playing games like that with every game. It, it wouldn't be fun to play with games like Grand Theft Auto or um, third person games. Third person games would just be shit <laughs> using that type of thing. So, I don't know. It's very e experimental, but I love how innovative it is. You know, it's a step in the right direction. On if, if they could perfect this, you know, if they can make it so it's not a living room accessory, you can put it on a plain wall, and, and I guess, I don't know. I, I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like it's innovative, but it's, it's shit. <laughs> but it's good shit, you know, I don't know how to feel about it, you know. I, I just know it's a step in the right direction. I like seeing innovative things like that, knowing that gaming is taking it a bit further. I just hope they don't focus on this too much lack on the gameplay of the games like they did with the Kinect and with the PlayStation Move when that came out, you know, they start putting more emphasis on the gimmicks type stuff instead of the actual gameplay. So I hope they don't do that when it comes to this. I hope 
they do perfect it, make it optional, and, <laughs> and just and just that, just make it optional. Don't make it no mandatory type thing, and and don't let it be overly expensive as well, you know. But and don't focus on it too much. Let the gameplay focus more on the games that you're releasing, the exclusives you're releasing, rather than this Illumi Room, you know. But not to say I hate the Illumi Room. I'm just saying. Don't focus. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, Microsoft, you know. But anyways, you can hit me down in the comments below. Um, tell me how you feel about this new technology. Will you love it? Will you hate it? Will you buy it? Or will you pass on it? So drop a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel for more video game news. And go like my Facebook fan page if you haven't. G4 Lee here signing off. Thank you for watching.